back at it. Next day, back at your ass with another video. And we got a soundtrack. Carp, Suplex, 1995. God, this brings back memories. I got to see this band a shitload of times. They were just... They're like hardcore doom, Black Sabbath-y, heavy sounding shit, but super catchy and poppy at the same time. Just beautiful. Scott Jaring Scott Jeringan, Chris Smith, and Jared Warren. They went on to do um, Type Brothers from Way Back When, Deep Air Freshness, and most of all, Big Business. For those that know. Oh, and Carp, also at the same time. Kill all redneck pricks. Extra props. Got to see that. Oh, and they went to. Uh, Jared Warren went on to join the Melvins, as we know. Anyhow, I got one, two, three, four, five, six CDs today. Let's get to it. Art Ensemble of Chicago. Non cognitive aspects of the city. Live at Iridero in New York. What is this, 2006? Yeah. Um, this for me is a long time fan of them because it's there's only three original members and there's two new members because two members had passed away. So you've got Roscoe Mitchell Don Moyer Jiribu Shahid Corey Wilkes Joseph Jarman It Cooks um, First Disc uh, Yeah, this cooks It cooks Seriously At first when this came out in 2006 I was a little apprehensive of it but it's the great black music that we love yeah yeah for real for real um what can i say it was for it was disc one that i heard big red peaches on disc one i heard that and i was like oh ill gotta get it second disc they're playing a lot more cohesive and whatnot but it's um still just amazing really really amazing music so yeah our ensemble of chicago fuck with that art on uh anti-pop consortium 2001 shopping carts crashing but those that know don't know this is this is their masterpiece also because they've all told me personally that it took them two weeks to record it. So they were under a deadline. I think it pressed their creativity a lot more. Anti-pop. No vacancy. Wait, anti-pop. We call it home. No vacancy. See, we created our own. Yeah, this is Tilt, Angular, Throat Cultures, Lazarus Pit, rhyming over like a, like a metal break breakbeat with like some guitar shit you know basics sugar worm sugar worm has to be my favorite song on here i break out the five shoot you with a smile gun this ain't 1988 and 99 son um m is dope it's all dope but yeah you fuck with that t-pop you gotta get this on your hands and stop fucking around because that's what's up <sighs> 1994 Back, stereopathetic soul manure. Um, this, I don't count this as an album because Beck came out with four releases. No, three, three releases back in 94. Mellow Gold, One Foot in the Grave, and this, stereopathetic soul manure. I love this. I cherish it. I champion this. It's honestly just the shit. If you like Beck, you gotta fuck with this. I remember listening to this and my aunt being like, back in 94, and my aunt being like, Beck sure as hell doesn't spend a lot of money on his records, <laughs> producing his records, does he? But yeah, that's my shit right there. 
So yeah, this got some joints. Robo, Johnny Cash covered that. Um, Ron's Power Sauce, putting it down. Satan gave me a taco. Fuck with it. Trust me. Odele, what's the saying not to say about this 1996? Double platinum, two Grammys. Not that that fucking means anything. But obviously it's awarded for a reason. The shit is flawless. It's dope. I went through years of questioning how much I like this record as a follow-up to Mellow Gold. And guess what? I love this fucking record. Hot Wax. Shit. Jackass. Minus. Sissy Net. Ramshackle. High Five. You know what I'm saying? Lord Only Knows. New Pollution. Derelict. Novocaine. Where it's at? It's got joints on it. Don't Sleep. Midnight Vultures. This is another record. This record, Beck made, um... Wanting to make something. Imagine if Fellini made a movie starring Rick James or Puff Daddy. This would be the soundtrack. Beck wanted to make something in 1999 that reflected what music was going through. When everything was lavish and really extreme and just dumb. It's all about the Benjamins, you know. Everything was just on tilt, turned up to fucking 10, full tilt. You know, just just riches and money and dumb shit. What's what's that line? Looking like gel bait, banging like an 808. Um. Anyway, yeah, this is just this is some ill shit. Man, sex laws, nicotine and gravy. She looks so is really peaches and cream, Hollywood freaks. Man. Oh, Jogging Mama Sadie's probably have my baby. Shop at Old Navy. He wish he was a lady. Uh. But yeah. Art by Yamatsuka Ai, Yamataka Ai of Boreums. Do not sleep. And the last one The Information, 2006. This is the Deluxe. It's got the album. It's got the remixes, it's got the videos, it's got a sheet of empty paper, it's got the lyrics, it's got mad stickers. This shit, Nigel Goodridge wanted to make a hip hop album. So the compromise with him and Beck was to make a hip hop album that's not a hip hop album. It works as a hip hop record. But it's not a hip hop record, so go figure that one out. Yeah, definitely up there as far as Beck's um, output and discography. It's something you should fuck with. You see the joints, got the joints on there. Got the joints, the joints, the joints. Elevator music is dope, think I'm in love, cell phone's dead. Nausea, Soldier Jane, movie theme, we die alone, no complaints. Coming to you with thousand beats per minute. Shit is dope. Anyway, peace to the rockers, peace to the jazzers, peace to the hip hours that don't like coppers. And I'm out.